drove in this race, and uh, I have to say that Barry's making it go rather better than Alan did. Meanwhile, there is Kurt Goranson. Well, I was talking to Willie Green yesterday about truck racing. He says these trucks will do 0 to 60 miles an hour in seven seconds. They'll do the standing quarter mile in 15 seconds. He's telling me you need about 400 brake horsepower to get one of these trucks to do 100 miles an hour. But if you wanted to do 120, you need 1,100 brake horsepower. Braking, well, he says that slowing the truck to 60 miles an hour is no real problem. You want to get it slower than 60, boy, you're in trouble. Uh, that's Dave. Oh, yes. Dirty Gertie oh, probably gone in uh, for a quick cup of tea, I should think, and uh, powder her nose, maybe. And, and Barry Sheen has also uh, fallen out, so that's sad news indeed. There is Barry. And, and there is Willie Green. Looks as like if he's gone ahead of Mantova. We'll see in just a second. He looked like Mantova. There it is. Willie Green is third. He's gone ahead of the Italian. And Willie Green is third. They've done 12 laps. They're about to complete 12 laps. Willie Green, one of Britain's best all-round uh, car drivers. He's driven all sorts of things, and he's proving to be Britain's top truck racer here at Silverstone. Willie Green is third, but I think he's got a, a real problem in his hands if he's going to try and get second. The leader, Goranson. Second, Rangoni. Third, this man, number three. Then Mantova. Then Slim Borgwood. Yes, that's the very latest DRF that Will is driving, which was introduced just earlier this year, built up in Sambat and Cheshire. And there you see the front tyre really smoking on Goranson's big N10 Volvo. Volvo officially don't recognise this truck. Um, the Volvo factory unofficially, I think they're giving him rather a lot of help. And Goranson leads by 10 seconds with 12 laps completed in this 15-lap battle. Chris Hutton, Brian Garnet just going through the picture, and they're just about to be lapped by Goranson, and this might make it interesting as they catch up the slower men. A big, high truck. The Volvo of Kurt Goranson. The Swede reveling in the conditions here. Driving so well. Yes, well, rally men do seem to go well in trucks, and Kurt finished 12th in the RAC rally about three years ago in a four-wheel drive Audi Quattro, best privateer that year. But he's really come to the fore as a truck racer. He's won some of these finals earlier in the year in Europe, and he's a hard charger. He doesn't make mistakes. Rarely for a Swede, actually, Chris doesn't speak a word of English. Chris Tucker, that is, in the, in the gravel trap. Chris Tucker. Well, absolutely Tucker, I would say. No, he's the treasurer of the British Racing Truck Racing Association. Obviously, a... hiding your money in the sand. Must be. Willie Green, then, in third place. After that pit stop, they're on their 13th lap of this 15-lap battle. And Goranton comes through the chicane to pick off another lap, and he really is in amongst the back markers now. A long, long lead. But Willie Green is closing on that second place, man. Rangoni. And Rangoni goes underneath the bridges. Willie Green comes out of the chicane. He can see him down that straight. Willie Green has definitely there. Is Rangoni and Willie Green is there behind him. He can definitely see him. And there's no greater incentive for any man in any competition than to see the man you're trying to chase. It helps you just break that little bit later, try that little bit harder. And there's Mantova, and uh, looks as if Slim Borgard's going to have a go at him. Mantova, perhaps worn out of his brakes and starting to slip back. There is Willie Green. He's in third place. Let's see whether we can see Rangoni ahead of him, the uh, red truck ahead of him. And there is Mantova and Slim Borgard. That's fourth and fifth. And let's uh, see what Barry Lee's doing out there. Well, we won't bother to worry Barry with the commentary. We'll just watch the action as he closes up. Again, looking for the inside line, winding on the power, pulling alongside. Can't do it. Closes the gap, and he can't go around the outside because the man well, will put him off the racing line. Yeah, 
that George Allen, whose uh, truck line business uh, repairs trucks for a living. He's had a busy, uh, he could have a busy weekend, I think, uh, Chris, after all this. Well, Barry is uh, trying very hard. I think uh, it's absolutely right not to talk to Barry at the moment. He did lose uh, concentration when we were talking to him. In 13th place at the moment, according to our lap chart. Lucky for some. And there is the race leader, Kurt Goransson, coming round to start his final lap. 14 laps completed through the chicane. He's on his 15th lap. Now, where is the second place man, Rangoni? Well, Willie's definitely there. caught him, but not enough, Chris, I think. Well, he's got to put in a real desperate effort on this last lap. Four seconds. I don't think even Willie Green could pull that back. Well, unless Rangoni gets held up by these slower men, and he slots there, number 61. There is Willie Green, number three. Well, that gap looks less than four seconds to me. Willie Green trying all he knows. It has been a sensational drive by Willie Green. Meanwhile, it's Goranson in the lead. Okay. Goranson followed by Rangoni, followed by Willie Green. Okay, Goranson on his final lap. And Richard Walker, the man who won last year, trapped down in seventh place, unable to move any higher. And Rangoni is being held up by this guy, and Willie Green is getting closer all the time. Yes, that's Chris Hunt and the Ford and Slater and truck. And Rangoni looking both sides, one the, all, then the other, and Willie Green will get closer. There's Willie Green behind him. And this... Well, can Rangoni get past his absolute... And Willie Green puts his headlights on. And oh, what a gentlemanly thing to do. Well, he is a gentleman, Chris Hutt, actually, very much so. Put the indicator on, moved over, and that's given Willie Green a chance. It's going to be a last attempt into the chicane, I think, and Willie Green is very good on the brakes, and he might still do it. This is the last lap. Willie Green is third, the man ahead of him, Rangoni, the Italian, is in second place. The final lap. Willie Green has made up the most part of a four-second deficit. This... Um, traffic ahead of them and Willie Green is closing up he's going will he pull out of the slipstream is he close enough to pull out of the slipstream he's thinking about it maybe he'll do it into the ship final chicane they're coming up underneath the bridge for the last time and if Willie Green is going to do anything he's got to do it to the chicane does the Italian know he's there there's the leader race leader coming into the chicane and Willie Green is closing the gap there you can see it the right hand part of your picture, and Rangoni under a lot of pressure from Willie Green, and Rangoni's there, and Green's going to spin to the line, and he pulls alongside, and they're so close, oh, less than half a truck's length. Rangoni takes second place, but Willie Green is third, literally by half a truck's length. Mantover fourth, Slim Borgard was fifth, Den Hart's going to finish sixth, and Richard Walker's going to finish seventh. Well, what a tremendous victory for Kurt Gunnarsson, but look at the replay.